What's up, everybody? It's Fernando Vargas Jr. You're watching Box Talk with Luis Madrid. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, Box Talk with Luis Madrid. Uh, we're here with one fourth of the Vargas dynasty. We have uh, Fernando Vargas Jr. How you doing today, champ? Hey, I'm doing good, bro. Good to see you. Thank you for for giving me a little bit of time today. I appreciate it. Uh, fresh off your 12 victory, uh, 12 and 0. Congratulations. Uh, we'll get into the fight, but I just uh, just wanted to ask you a couple questions. Uh, uh, the tradition continues, so it sounds like uh, usually after you get a big win after a fight, you, you got to get some new ink, huh? So talk to us about what you got going on today. Yeah, you know, um, how to get my window. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my tattoo artist, shout out to the one intro. Uh, he's done, like, all my tattoos. And, um, you know, he did my pops when he became a youngest junior middleweight champion. My mom, mom right here. So he's kind of like, I wanted to get something different. I showed him, like, five, six references. But he kind of wanted the one that I wanted to come in with on this arm. So this one's like a different theme or whatever, but this one's like all family. But I had to get my grandpa because just, man, he raised me. You know what I'm saying? He's like my second dad and um, he would always take me to school and he's a character. So I don't think there's anyone like my grandfather. And uh, before every fight, you know, uh, he prays for me and, you know, I went through um, some hard times. You know what I'm saying? And I went through my own struggles and, he always believed in me. He would always defend me. So it's a constant deal. So, uh, you know, I definitely had to get my grandpa in there and uh, just keep the keep this the family sleep. For sure, man. That's awesome. Really, really nice piece, man. Um, so the Vargas family always has a lot of really cool stuff going on, positive stuff going on. One of the things that you guys got going on now is uh, you guys are opening up a new gym, yeah. correct? Uh, can you talk to the fans a little bit of just the, you know, what you can share for now? You know, where's it at? What's up with the registration? Is it, what's the purpose of the gym? Yeah, um, I'm not too sure of the logistics, like how much we'll be charging or anything like that. But it should be up in like a month, month and a half. It's almost done. I mean, if you, for those of you that follow us, you know, there's progress pics. You know, we just got the keys and then we started the demo process. And then we're putting up all these uh, Venom bags. Shout out to Venom for being an official sponsor. Um, but we're partnering up with the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, uh, coach, my guy Hector. You know, uh, he, um, I believe he trained uh, Brandon Moreno. So, you know, his pedigree, he's, he's, he's a former world champion in the MMA world. So, um, you know, we're very appreciative for him. We're able to lock forces with him and, you know, do something different than just, you know, capture boxing fans. But, um, you know, we're able to partner together and do something great for the city of Las Vegas. We're down for a minute. We're on uh, Cheyenne Civic Center, but this one will still be kind of like in the North Las Vegas area, right there by like Rancho. I forget the other cross street, but uh, uh, it's, 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 it should be up and, uh, up and running in like a month. So stay tuned. For sure. I know a lot of gyms when they first open, they you know usually have kind of like a big party, like a grand opening. Do you have any idea if you guys might be doing something like that? I don't know, but it, I mean, it only makes sense. I'm sure my mom and my dad, my mom's the brains behind everything. So, you know, I'm sure my mom has has something cooking for that. For sure. And then uh, speaking about uh, new ventures, uh, I, I saw on Instagram that you guys have a, a new family show coming up. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that you can share about that? I, 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 yeah, we had a reality show back on Mundos. It was actually uh, Jenny Rivera that told us. She was just like, really, she was really close to my dad. You know, rest in peace, Jenny Rivera. Um, and she was like, Fernando, your family, they got it. It was like, got what? Like, what are you talking I said, no, you guys are, you guys are, like, you guys are good, like, behind the TV, like, you guys are natural, whatever, whatever. And then my dad was like, nah, I don't think so. Like, all I do is box, Jenny, you know? So, and anyways, to make a long story short, she ended up, you know, linking with her business manager, got the opportunity to be on Mundos. You know, we did great numbers. Welcome uh, to the Vargas. But uh, we're going to be on a streaming app. I can't say which streaming app, but it's going to be, you know, either like a, you know, like a Netflix or like a Hulu or something along those lines. So, you know, we'll, we'll be back um, real shortly. Um, you know, a lot of people were asking about the show, but, you know, right now our bread and butter boxing, we we don't take care of that. And, uh, you know, you can't um, do everything else. So, you know, we just learn how to multitask. And right now is a perfect opportunity for branding. And, um, you know, it, it makes sense right now. So we'll be back pretty soon. For sure. Awesome. So speaking about boxing, like I mentioned earlier, you're coming off of your, your 12 victory, 12 and 0. Uh, for the fans that might have missed your last fight, how, uh, how did that how did that fight go? Yeah, it went the distance. You know, um, a lot of people were, you know, uh, intrigued to see, 
you know, me and my brother, you know, headline, you know, we sold that out for Ogden Arena, over 10,000 people. So that was a good thing. We did great numbers. You know, there's a lot of different opportunities from that. Um, a lot of different people reaching out to my management. But as far as the fight, you know, I, I, I gained experience. I went six rounds. At the end of the day, I wanted to get the knockout. But like my dad said, you know, during the fight, sometimes, me este, este way no se va a ir, you know? So like, you know, sometimes you can be hitting with everything in the kitchen sink, but they know how to be durable. They know how to survive. He actually knocked out uh, Rachel, um a few years ago or something like that. I didn't know that, but he had a herky-jerky style. You know, there's different things that I need to still work on, like distance and, you know, uh, mixing up my combinations and, you know, using my jab a lot more. But, you know, I was able to showcase my footwork and able to show, you know, that I'm also a defensive fighter and very slick in there. So it was real good going the rounds. And uh, I gained experience and uh, got my feet wet for the for the for the harder fights that you know that are coming. For sure. And I know that you and your brother Amado are are with Marv Nation, yeah. and uh, uh, your bro your younger brother Emiliano's with Top Rank. You guys have all stayed super busy. You guys are basically fighting like every other month. Uh, how important is it to you guys to for that to have that consistency and be fighting so often? I think it's real important. You know, um, I remember Canelo was talking about when he first turned pro. I mean. Well, you got like 15 fights in one year. So, there, you know, at whatever pace your team is going at, you know, I really believe and I trust in my team, you know, Eggy Squeamboss, my manager. You got two-time manager of the year for a reason. So I know we're in good hands. You know, at the end of the day, we have a lot of love, you know, more than Olympians, more than people that have really done this since 10, 11 years old. And, you know, those are just the cards that we're dealt with. You know, my pop's a legend and, you know, we got to take advantage of, you know, of that. So, um, but... You know, I know that my pops got criticized a lot for his career, how he was rushed, a lot of the bigger fights. So, you know, we know the fans want us to see us fight these big giants already, but we understand they see the pedigree. And, um, you know, we're all working extremely hard, but I really feel everything in the boxing game is about experience and when to fight these right fights. And we're, we're gonna give you guys those fights. We wanna give that. You know, we know a lot of people like the throwback type of style. If you saw a model's fight, dude just keeps coming. We have to tell model. Box on my life. So, you know, look, every, we all have something to contribute to the boxing game, and we're just very excited. And he's fighting on, um, you know, he's fighting. He's fighting in like a week or two at the, um, what's that top rank card? Is Joe it, is it Gonzalez. Yeah. No, it's Joey Gonzalez. Is and it? right here. Isn't it in Corpus Christi? Yeah, Corpus Christi, that one. Wait, wait, wait. They're fighting. September 15th. Oh, yeah, that's the main event, that. Bernardo and Joey. Okay. And, 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 and okay, that, that's gonna be a good fight. So, you know, they keep Emmy real busy. And, um, you know, we appreciate everyone's support. You know, Miliano just came off a hell of a knockout. You know, and we were able to ride the momentum off of my, you know, youngest brother's, you know, uh, win. So, you know, we know fans confuse all the time. Emmy, I'm out. You know, it, does, it doesn't matter. As long as you're tuning in, we appreciate all the support. And, um, you know, I'm out of the we're, we're, we're uh, we'll be here for a minute. For sure. And so, um, speaking about that, how you guys are, are staying so busy, um, do you have an official uh, fight day yet for you and the money? Um, you I don't. No? Um, I don't. Um, just, you know, gonna enjoy, you know, that last victory, stay in the gym, but, you know, um, anything that we do have coming up, uh, we will be posting on our social medias. I know Mabo might have something real soon. You know, he looked real good. Got that knockout very last round, so. You know, we gotta uh, just listen to our team. Whenever we get that call, uh, we'll be ready to go. But we appreciate everyone's tuning in, supporting, you know, supporting us as well on that Marv Nation, you know, trying to get the link and, you know, seeing the fights and everything like that. We appreciate all the support right now. So, um, yeah, you know, we'll keep you guys posted. For sure. So be, uh, before we do let you, before we do let you go, um, I do appreciate you giving me a little bit of time today. Uh, do you uh, do you have any last uh, messages for any of your fans, followers, family, sponsors, and any social media you want to give out? Uh, I just want to thank all my sponsors. I want like to thank you guys, man. People that that are believing in us. You know, you're gonna put, you know, wherever your heart is. That's that's exactly where you're gonna put your treasure in. So you can say you believe in something, but if you're trying to see the fight for free, you're not really supporting the dynasty. You know, so. You don't support small businesses by asking for handouts. And um, we're very appreciative for all of our sponsors. You know what I'm saying? AV Chevy, you know what I'm saying? Rancho Humilde, um, Twilight True Fine Jewelry. The list goes on and on. Adams Boxing, you know, we there, there, there's so many sponsors. ATF Private Security. There's so many sponsors that, you know, that behind the scenes keep us going. 
keep us in the gym, where we don't, you know, have to worry about bills, but we're able to just do what we love to do. And that's the beautiful thing. So thank you to all of our sponsors. Uh, future sponsors, hit us up. You know, you can always hit me in the DM, hit my brother, hit Emmy in the DM, and we can see if we'll get your brand or logo or business on our truck. So thank you so much. There you have it, man. Well, again, thank you so much for giving me a little bit of time today, man. I know you're, you're a busy man. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for, for watching another episode of Box Talk with Luis Madrid, Fernando Vargas Jr. Thank you. God bless.